rattlesnake. Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing? Coming close to Christmas season here, it's holiday season, so I'm sure all you guys are out there trying to grab some cards, maybe gifts for yourself, gifts for the family. But anyways, for today's video, we have Hunt for Charizard. So we're going to be hunting for Charizard. As most of you know, Charizard's definitely my top favorite. So I have some Hidden Fates, we have some Shining Fates. There's two great Charizards in both of those sets. So let's take a look, see if we can find it. So first we're going to break into some of these Hidden Fates cards. And you can see we got a Charmander, a Psyduck, Magic Carp, Staryu. So Hidden Fates, that is an amazing set. Definitely probably my top three. Um, if not my favorite set. So we got a Zapdos Hollow right off the bat here. So this is a beautiful looking card. It's not a full art, but it is very nice. So let's go. So the Charizard that's in Hidden Fates, definitely one of the most valuable out of all the modern sets. Uh, it's the Shining Vault Charizard, and that thing can get into the thousand plus dollar range if it's graded. So that is a hot card to pull. Here we go, code card, and let's pop in. So I get pretty excited when I open up the Hidden Fate stuff. Never pulled that Charizard, but one day it's bound to happen. All right, we got Brock's Pewter City Gym. We got an Eevee, Ekans, and as you guys can see, this uh, this Hidden Fate set, a lot of the old school Pokemon, the artwork is amazing. The conditions of the cards are really well done. And right off the bat, we got a Shiny Volt. So that's a Datrix, it's from the Shining Volt. So it's one of the shining uh, hollows in this set. So in Hidden Fates, you can pull full arts, secret rares, and then there's the shining vault kind of regular hollows. So that is a nice card to pull. All right, let's keep moving with the Hidden Fates. So this set is pretty expensive to open. Uh, it's really held on to the value, even though they reprinted it in 2021. Uh, you're still looking close to 200 bucks for an ETB on these. So definitely not cheap to open. Otherwise, I'd be ripping through a ton of them. And Pikachu there. So we got a Hidden Fates Pikachu. Another Ekans artwork there. And we got the holographic energy card with a non hollow Mew. And we got the birds artwork on the front. So you got your legendary birds. Yeah, man, I love this set. What about you guys? Is this one of your favorites? I don't know how you couldn't love this one. All the best Pokemon in this. You got a crazy Charizard you can find. Giovanni's Expo. Koga's Trap. Got Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, so the year's wrapping up, guys. We've had a crazy year for Pokemon with the celebrations and all the new sets, Evolving Skies. We had Fusion Strike. So it's been a crazy year. Um, definitely an enjoyable one for, for collecting this hobby. And yeah, I mean, what do you guys think about everything? Definitely Celebration seemed to have been the, the most hyped one, especially with that Ultra Premium collection. Uh, people are saying it's going to be reprinted. There's uh, kind of two different groups. Some that are saying, nope, it's done, will never be reprinted. And then you have some that are saying it's going to be reprinted in the new year. So we'll have to hold out and see. Maybe you could still get uh, an Ultra Premium at cheap. And we got a Hollow Eevee. That's beautiful. So even the uh, the regular hollows in this set, they're very nice. Yeah, so, you know, I think there is a possibility that you will see more UPCs. And uh, if you're looking on the Pokemon uh, Center website, uh, they've been reproducing all the ETBs. So the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, celebration ETB has been back up in stock. They've been putting out uh, the Shining Fate stuff. A lot of this stuff's being reprinted, so... I mean, there's still hope. Still hope they will reprint that UPC and you'll be able to grab a few at retail price. Because uh, I would love to get my hands on that uh, gold metal Charizard that's in there. So, so far we have not located that valuable Charizard. Didn't think he'd be easy to find. Uh, if he was, it wouldn't be that valuable. So we have a Charizard artwork pack here. Maybe we'll get lucky. All right, I do see some shine at the back there, so whew, heart's kind of beating a little fast. Will we find him? Let's find out. Got a Q-Bone, Geodude, 
Jigglypuff, Staryu. Got the Reverse Hollow Psyduck, and what could it be? Oh, oh it's a Charizard, but it is not the uh, the one we're looking for, the Shining Volt one, but it is Charizard. He's my favorite, so I won't complain. Not a super valuable card, but I do like it, so nice. Not the Charizard we're looking for, but it is a Charizard, and I will never complain about a Charizard. All right, on to another pack here. Get a Zapdos on the front there. All right, what do we got? What do we got? This one is a roller coaster ride of a set to open. Definitely a lot of adrenaline when I'm opening this one. Got that Scyther, Charmeleon, the Eevee, Ekans, Charmander. So we have Charmeleon and Charmander. And I think I might see some shine at the back here. Could it be? Could it be? Oh, we got an Onyx. We got an Onyx. Not bad. Still a full art card from Hidden Fates. But not the Charizard. Alright, we got some Shining Fates now. Like I said, Hidden Fates, pretty expensive to open. We ripped through quite a few packs there. Blew through quite a few dollars. So uh, let's go on to Shining Fates. It's a little cheaper. There's also a Charizard in here. It's the dark colored Charizard uh, V Max. So, not as valuable as the Hidden Fates one, but still a very nice card. We got a Shinx. And no hit there. Alright. Pack numero dos. So, are you guys going to load up on the new Brilliant uh, Stars set that's coming out? I mean, that one looks like it's going to be nice. There's uh, some trainer cards in there. You got like an Ash with a gigantic Pikachu in the back. I've seen that's in the Japanese set that's uh, already released. So that's going to be a nice card. You can see that getting quite valuable. So, uh, yeah, I think everybody should stock up uh, another one of the same. Everybody should stock up on that set for sure. That one is going to hold value. So if you're looking to invest... Definitely one that would be uh, good to grab a few boxes of and sit on for a while. And the future of investing in Pokemon, well, I don't know. They seem to be producing uh, mass amounts of the newer sets, so I don't think the value is going to increase like we've seen some of the other stuff, such as Hidden Fates. Uh, there will always be value on some of the more premium items, like you got your Ultra Premium Collection. I think that will hold value. Um, but I think everything will still increase over time. It just depends on how long you're willing to wait this stuff out. I mean, if you grab a couple of uh, booster boxes, throw them in a storage unit, and let them sit for 5, 10 years, hey, I don't think you can go wrong. It's not going to lose value. And let's see what we got in this pack. Alright, Rusted Shield, Shinx, we got a Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, Glossifleur, Oh, nice. We got a Sobble from the Shining Volt. So that is a little shiny. Considered uh, one of the more rare cards. So nice. Can't complain about all that. Alright, alright. Switch up locations here. A little bit of different scenery. Gonna open up the rest of these Shining Fates in another room. Let's see. Alright, code card for you guys. And let's go. So, so far, we have found a Charizard. Our hunt has been somewhat successful. However, it's not the, the Charizard we're looking for. We're looking for that big value Shining Volt Charizard from either Shining Fates or Hidden Fates. So let's go. Eevee. We got a Rollet. A Yan Mega. And a Frozmoth. That's a hollow rare. So somewhat of a hit there. All right. All right. Keep going with these Shining Fates. So, Shining Fates, I, I, I enjoy this set. There is that Charizard in there. Definitely don't like it like Hidden Fates. Um, but it's a fraction of the cost. So, can open up these uh, Shining Fates a little more freely than we do the Hidden Fates. Alright, let's go. Oh, I got some uh, Shiny in the back there. Tropius. Eevee. Come on. This gets my heart pumping because you never know. It might be that Charizard. More Peko. Alright, and oh, nice. Alright, so we do have a Rainbow Rare. Uh, it's an Ulcrami VMAX card. It is a secret rare in the set, so it's from Shining Volt. So that is a nice card. Not the most valuable, 
Not the best, but uh, can't complain. All right. Let's keep moving. My heart is thumping on this one. I don't usually get this excited, but when I know we can find Charizard, I uh, I tend to get a little worked up. We got a ball guy. Let's go. More Peko, and I see some more Sheen at the back there. Let's go, Shinx. And we got a ball guy. Come on, ball guy. Get out of here. All right. Can't complain. It's a hit, but not Charizard. Oh, it gets me worked up. I thought it might have been it. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Shining face. Let's do it. Let's go code card for you. And maybe you can get that Charizard in one of these code cards. We got another ball guy. Luxio. Qfant. Horsey. Cacnea. Morpeko. Choodle. Come on. Oh, Morpeko VMAX. Jeez. All right. Okay, okay. We're getting hits, guys. We're getting hits left and right, but they're not what we're looking for. We are looking for Charizard. Let's look, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Jeez, I can't even think here. Surprised I'm not shaking. Like a five-year-old in the toy shop. All right, let's do it. Luxio. Keep going. Come on. Can we get this Charizard? And oh, another more Peko. All right, so it's a hit, but geez, we just got that card. All right, Charizard artwork on the front. Let's get it. Let's get it. So we are getting a, a good uh, amount of hits here, guys. And these are packs that I just pulled out of um, Dragapult and a Crobat uh, Ultra Premium box. So a bunch of packs I just pulled out of those uh, box sets. We got a Morpeko, a Shinx. And we got a hollow. So no hit. No crazy hit, but it is a little hit. A little baby hit. And you guys know, of course, I'll be giving some of these cards away. So some of the hot pulls we get at the end of the video. Stick around and you can find out how to win those cards. Alright. Let's go. Oh, we got another Fuego at the back. Come on, this time it's got to be that Charizard. More Peko. Yanma, Horsey, Shinx, Spinneret. Uh, we got a V Mac and a V, so it's a double hit. But not Charizard. It's a double hit. We won't complain. Uh, one of them is the Shining Volt, and we have a regular V card. So, yeah. Man, man. All right, guys. Let's do this. Let's get that Charizard. So, this is going to be part one of my Charizard hunt. I'm going to keep doing these. Uh, Hunt videos for the Zard until we find them. So that means lots of code cards, lots of free cards for you guys. We got a coughing. Come on, QFant. Can we keep it going? All right. No, we cannot. So no VMAX, no shining uh, vault in that one. All right, let's keep ripping these packs here. Like I said, I'm a little more liberal with the shiny fates. They're not as expensive as Hidden Fates. I would love to rip Hidden Fates at this uh, quantity. Alright, Spinarak. More Peko again. Lots of more Pecos in this set. Zaru, non-hollow. Alright, so maybe the heat is dying down. We got all the hot cards at the first there. So let's... Oh, we got a... We got a Suicune from the Shining Vault. So, believe it or not, that's uh, probably like the second or third most valuable card in this Shining Fate set. So, even though it's not a VMAX or one of the full art cards, that is one of the more valuable cards. Alright, so not bad. And I'm not going to bother with the pack trick, guys. We're opening so many cards here. We're just going to fire through the rest of these. There's your code card. Most of the hits I think we got out of the box already. So, I don't think there will be too much left in there. We'll just fire through these real quick so the video ain't super long. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. Let me know in the comments uh, what your favorite pulls are. And I'll let you know how to win these cards at the end. Alright, so here's the stuff you can win. We have uh, some full art, some V cards, some hollow rares. Nice little stack here, that more Peko. Just tell me 
What is your favorite set to open? And I'll open more of that in the comments.